disrespect. That's one of the most highest saying that. Mm -hmm. If he say that men are the weaker vessel, then I gotta accept that. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna go. Oh, well, I think. You know I, I mean? I so think what even I think look, we're so used to society. They're so used to being single mothers. Yeah, well, I, society, I think what you're saying is because we're religion. You know what but I mean? what so, I think, I think that's a good way for you to escape. I think that's a good way for you to negate from Angelica's responsibility and why her children were taken. See, you are you 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 steady so, want to go to what the religion says and what the Bible says. And though I know the Bible, babe, if, if you want to, if you really want to go there, if you really want to go there, none of the father's stuff was supposed to be available for the children was there. I didn't buy myself for these amount of years by myself. It's their turn. So I'm trying to understand what are you talking about? Well, my my, my yeah. point in doing that was it's because you utilize the scripture a lot on this, app. but you cannot apply. You cannot apply that scripture. You do a lot. You, you, do a lot of, you use a lot of scriptures on this app to but convict sister, me. You cannot apply that scripture to me because you're talking from a single mother standpoint. Are you a single mom? I am not only was I a, a, a successful single mother. Okay. Well, Paul, I also had it. that uh, but, she said she was uh, successful. But, now this is but, the problem that we had. But most women but, don't say that financial gain. Father that is who not got his success. children every weekend. I also <laughs> had my children's father who showed up for every event. I also had my children's father who gave me money without the white man having to tell him so. I also well, let me tell you something, sister. Let me tell you something. I'm glad them. that you have now, a badge of honor. I'm glad you have, have a badge of honor, honor for that you have, have been taking care of your children, children by yourself. And your children's father... I did not take care of my children by myself. I did not take care of my children by myself. My family is together. I did not take care of my children by myself. To God be the glory. I had a baby daddy that was damn good to not only me, but my children. And not only was he good to my children, he's also a grandchild. Did you marry him? No, I didn't. Just like you didn't marry him. Oh, okay. And just like you got married a nigga. And I throw stones. Why you didn't marry him then? He's such a good man. Obviously, something was going on so he wasn't something good for you because you ain't married to him. When that man entered her, that was they were married. She didn't believe it by her being a Christian. She should have believed that. Her pastor should have read her that. She got to understand. We read the same Bible. But it seemed like Christians are the main ones that sin. She was her. his side piece. So you guys heard so, have so you guys heard her story on here? I'm trying to tell you, Christian Christianity, if you look at all the people that commit adultery, I guarantee more than 95% of them on this, on this land are claiming they're Christians. Oh, babe, they just said that she stole her business on here and she actually was a side piece. I told you. Why, why, do, you think, <laughs> why do you think I asked her those questions? Everybody on, on the live, y'all heard my questions because I knew she had an underlining tone. She was upset and mad about something. Right. She may feel that she's a single mother. Mm -hmm. She doesn't have no one that loves her. So she see you with a nice looking guy that loves you to death, that is ready to marry you uh, and everything. And she may feel envious. Right. She got to understand, stop being envious and try to ask the woman, women for help and right. guide you along to find a good man. A good man, I'm telling you, been approached by so many women and they say i want a good man the mm -hmm. question i ask them is what are you doing in your life for, for the most high to bring you a good man right because if you're not doing right how is a good man gonna want you i get that a lot and i tell women that i'm honest i'm gonna be real with you right if i want a good woman i'm not gonna be going around home and sleeping with all these women and say i want a good woman Help me around the house would be my help me, but I'm still around just smashing every female. The most high, I'm not gonna bless me with no good woman because that's all I'm gonna do is just hurt her. Right. So, a lot of women gotta stop thinking that because they make money or they got these degrees that that means anything to the most high. You are a scholar in this America, you're not a scholar in the Bible, you're not a scholar in trying to be real with yourself or understand what a woman's place is on this planet a man got to understand the same thing it's a lot of our brothers and i get all my brothers about this y'all gotta stop asking for these good women that's gonna cook clean and do all these wifely duties and you ain't s-h-i-t 
Right. Y'all brothers gotta stop doing it. And then you guys are trying to say, like I said, you guys don't know what's content and what's not. And baby, do you care about my past? No, I don't care less. I wasn't there. The most high go deal with whoever he wanna deal with. You know what I mean? So all the brothers in the Bible had a past. They sinned, committed adultery, murder, and all that. But the most high gave them a chance to redeem themselves. You know, so at the end of the day, who am I to judge someone? That's such a good answer. Yeah. That's such a good answer. Who am I to judge somebody off of a past and not even know they existed? It don't make any sense. You know, because look, if we supposed to judge people off of our past, ladies, let's be honest. All y'all single mothers, how many brothers, if we was to judge y'all, y'all be alone for the rest of your life. I'm just being honest. So, when y'all want to throw stones at people just because you're upset with yourself, you got to sit back and reflect on your life and come to terms that you made some mistakes. And just tell the most high you're going to do whatever you can to be diligent to fix those mistakes. And I guarantee you, you you put your time in, the most high going to bless you with the things that you want. It may not be that. And yeah, you guys, you guys were sitting over here judging me, but meanwhile, in between time, I was praying, I was repenting, and the most high bless me with this man he is everything i'm trying to tell you i sometimes a lot of times feel like i don't deserve him because he's so awesome so the moment that i put back on my hair wraps and i repented i'm so grateful that the most high have given me this amazing amazing man humility is is a, a so-called black woman's worst enemy if you think about it a lot of our sisters don't like to show they that they feminine. They don't like to submit. And I'm never asking women to submit to me. I ask women to submit to the most high. And if submitting to the most high means you have to submit to your head, which is the man of the house, then that's what you gotta do. A man's supposed to submit to a woman also. We just we not just savages and animals. And I'm not telling her what to do. Most of the time, I don't even want her to do it. I'm so used to doing things myself. Yeah, he don't. <laughs> I take care of myself. Like, I tell you guys, no lie. The stuff that you guys see me doing when I call my duties, he don't ask me to do. He haven't asked me to do nothing in this house. I tell him what I, I want gotta to I got to learn to sit back. I'm so busy always active doing something. So, you know, people got to start focusing on certain things that's not meant to be focused on. You know, people don't understand the devil be sitting back with his hands like he like yes go ahead and argue you know what i mean that envious feeling that's him on your back whispering in your ear right. y'all gotta understand that stuff man you gotta know yourself i tell people know yourself before you know anybody else Come on. if you be disrespectful i'm gonna just drop um i just want to know um you know, yesterday you said that he put on the Nike stuff you bought. He went and cheated with his ex for a birthday. Do he know you talked about him like a dog on here yesterday? And now you sitting there like everything's good. First, I tell my husband every single thing. Babe, did I tell you? Yeah. And I didn't talk about him like a dog. I told him, I told you guys I mean, that. She had, like, she can tell me what, what do you think that she said that sounded like she was talking like a dog? You can tell me, young lady. Yeah, you guys, and don't drop anybody. I would drop them. I mean, that's cool, because I like, I like when I ask questions. A lot of women don't know how to answer. Right, because I wasn't talking like a dog. I was just saying, like, I just felt this type of way and all of that. How many women, when they got a man that they look at, at that a lot of women want to be with, mm -hmm. how many of them don't feel insecure? And I was feeling insecure. But the, the prop, the, this is the thing. Even if a woman feel like that, it's good for her to talk about it. It's good for her to say something. Even if she is mistaken and she start talking sideways, it ain't no big deal. If y'all talking about the situation, the man, look, I'm a confident man. And I know I got a lot of women that be on me. But that don't mean that I'm going to touch or desire any of them because I look at it like the devil trying to get to me. So if she feel that way, as a man, our responsibility is to make sure that she doesn't feel that way. And he did. So if I got to text her when I leave the house to go to work and I made it to work, I'm going to do that so she can feel better. And he do every time. You know what I mean? It's not because I'm trying to 
you know, sway her over. No, as a man, that's what we're supposed to do. A lot of women have insecurities like that because of their past. You know, just like brothers. A lot of brothers got insecurities and they get jealous. You know, instead of the woman saying, well, stop being a bee or stop acting like a girl, they need to show respect to the man. Right. You don't um, need to stop acting so childish. Like people who come on these lives and all that with the malice. They got that full attention to want to try to break things up where they want to see me look weird and say, what, babe, what you say? And then they went, oh, yeah, it ain't going to happen. I'm too chilled out for that. You know what I mean? And I said, he knows. And we already had this discussion. Yeah, I, said I already right said there. that, you know, and actually, after we, we done got a little, to a little disagreement, everything. And after we had got, like, everything settled down, what you say, babe? I he said, still and he still loved me. And he said, and I got off live because I didn't want our business to be on. Like, I didn't want that to be content because that was really, really serious. And he was like, that would have been a good learning lesson to be on live yeah. because we really, I would start picking up my stuff. Like, girl, I was tripping. I, and I was the one that was wrong. And because I was feeling insecure because he was with this woman for 13 years. And although he hadn't seen her for four years, I just still be like, oh my God, I, I was just a little insecure, you know, and um, he, he didn't do anything wrong, but he still, you know, apologized for some things he said, I apologize for some things I said, and we worked out, we always work out whatever we got going on. So even if I feel some type of way and I may be a hundred percent wrong, I will go and tell him about it only because I don't want to keep it harbored, harbored in me. And I don't want like to be like, cause sometimes the devil can feed you stuff. Like you be thinking all types of out of mind, crazy stuff. Just you start feeding yourself stuff. So just communication, right, babe? Of course. Communication. Okay. We communicate a lot. The water. So um, I was wrong, and I'm. And it's like, I have trust issues because a lot of people have done me wrong in my past. So, and he knows that. He knows that I have trust issues. So it's not his problem that I have trust issues. So I was going to help her with that. Yeah. No. And he is. He's no. helping me. Nobody should get into a relationship if they feel they can't trust or try to learn to trust somebody. Just stay single. You set yourself up for failure. Just stay single. That's like anybody that feel like they got to be a hoe. They gotta sleep with multiple people, mostly men. I'm talking mostly to the men. Stay single. It ain't no point to be putting women through this situation, especially if you know they've been hurt before. You creating a monster now. You know what I mean? So it's like y'all gotta y'all gotta know that most things that people do comes from sin. You know what I mean? It's like we living in a sinful society, so we gotta kind of break that. It's gonna be tough, but. It's something that we got to do. Yeah. And I'm working on it. I'm really um. And every day he make me feel more secure about everything. He's definitely a keeper girl. I would suck on his big toe. <laughs> like, <laughs> I would. <laughs> I don't know <laughs> like, that's daddy for sure. <laughs> He's um five nine. I'm five nine too. So um all I wanna say is y'all, if he like it, if he accept the fact that she has seven kids, her kids is in what DCF, foster care or wherever they are, if he you know what I'm saying, accepts her for what she is, then we can't be mad. And my thing is, he's sitting over there talking like he has sense. But I have a lot of questions about him. Why has he been single for four years? What does he, he have wasn't going single. He, wasn't, he have not been single for four years. He was with somebody for 13 years. They've been broken up for four years. He only been with two women out his old his whole life. Then he got with another girl. He's been broken up with her since. Right, but he's talking as if he hasn't all sure. together. So my thing is, 
if a man, if a real man has it all together, why is he just so hush hush about you not having your kids? What type of real man is because that? We, because we know about the curses that I read you guys in Deuteronomy 28 that says that they will take your children from you when you don't abide by the laws and commandments. So me not by abiding by the laws and commandments, the most high has punished me in a sense. What I thought that he punished me for that. And I had to really just go into my studies and, you know, put my headrest back on and put on my modesty and try to live a good life now if I follow the laws and commandments by keeping Sabbath Friday mm -hmm. and stuff like that. And the most high have actually made me see a different way that I was... But as a man, I'm not done he should be trying, trying to I better you. you. I did not interrupt you. I didn't interrupt you. If he loved you. you. You know what's funny though? Can we have some decorum? Because I didn't interrupt you. Let me finish. So now it's actually looking like more of a blessing because now my family get to see their their family. Now it's because it's a curse. Believe it or not, it's a curse to be a single mother. It wasn't never meant to be a single mother. So I was going to So my like, thing is yesterday. Again. I'm not done. I was going down a deep rabbit hole. And the most high allowed me to have help. That's what I've been praying for. So now my children are with the help that I prayed for. The guys that they laid down, that I laid down and had sex with. And then the guy, the other guy that they're with is the guy who didn't get a chance to raise me. So now he is righting his wrongs for didn't raising me and helping me raise mine. So actually, these are generational curses being broken. Even so much as one of my children being able to even be re and bonded with his their father like that would probably would never happen before this so like everything was happening for a reason and i believe that and i'm here now so now what i don't know i just i just think it's really sad i really do um you what, have you seven think it's sad that everybody that passed me was supposed to kick me and hate me girl you sound jealous get your life together you know it's very weird like women want to come on and sound like they're being um, intelligent and being um, real women. And then they hit you with this, oh, I'm going to hit her with a low blow. But what about this? I hear that. They're so, they sound so jealous. It, it just seems like all the women that I hear, my next question is, are you happily married? I haven't heard not one woman say, yes, I'm happily married. You know, I've been with the same man. I only slept with one man. And all my kids by him. All these women got different baby daddies. So now that means that every man should look at you like you SHIT. That no man should take you serious. No man should try to marry you. He should only use you when he want to have sex. I mean, that's what it seemed like. Everybody seemed to want to put this young lady right next to me in a position to where I look at her like I don't want to be with her. So y'all want that content to where she comes on there crying, saying he left me. And now y'all gonna want to try to find me and say, but what about me now, baby? You ain't with her. What about me? I, I only got one kid. I'll cook and clean for you. I'll suck you off. No. At the end of the day, y'all women don't know who y'all dealing with. I'm a Not, um, y'all better back off my man. I'm an extremely, <laughs> I'm an extremely confident man in everything I do. She know I'm not intimidated or I'm not wild by any woman's looks or what they think is good looks to me. If you don't, if you don't have the looks of the most high and you don't have his favor, you won't definitely have my favor. I don't care how you look. The devil can look beautiful. That don't mean I'm going to touch him. You know what I mean? So at the end of the day, y'all women, like I said before, y'all need to check yourself. Y'all need to relax. Y'all need to be humble. How how are you gonna get a blessing if you got the intent to hurt somebody else because of what you're going through in your life? Right, and I feel like if I'm sitting up here, I'm obviously I'm glowing. I'm happy. I didn't say nothing happened to like you know. It's just abnormal. everything is good, and they just y'all just want me to be miserable. Baby, it's just abnormal for men to be with their kids. Yeah, they they so used to being single moms. They don't yes. understand. My they are with their father. Yes. Like God. So that's one thing that people don't Damn. understand. You know what I mean? Certain things people be thinking that the Most High is just some nice, you know, puppies and flowers. No, 
he's straight up a parent. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, what we think is harsh, he can be looking like that ain't harsh. I'll right. show you harsh. Right. So people gotta stop doing that. And for all these these Christian lights, Christian, <laughs> they need to speak to their pastors and ask Christian them light. to really look into the Bible, read from the Bible, elaborate from the Bible, open up that red book, that apocryphal, that they don't like opening up. Kind. You know what I mean? They want to take y'all money, but they're not giving y'all nothing in return but some hopes and dreams, in my opinion. Not all of them. Some of them real true about it. And a lot of them, I talk to a lot of them. They know that we Israelites. They know they're Israelites. But when they go to their seminary schools, I've talked to them. They've been told not to speak from that book. They've been told not to speak from the apocryphal. That's why they get funding. That's why they have these mansions or these Rolls Royces or these private jets because they're making sure that they don't get y'all the right food. When I say food, I mean knowledge. Yes. That's right. You got me on here. You got me on here preaching. And you know, I ain't trying to do all that. find a man that makes them feel good and the dads keep an eye on the kids so they can spend time with the man that they love they don't want to admit it because they feel like there's something wrong with it but it ain't nothing wrong with it if the kids are being protected you know there ain't nothing wrong with it you already know my house is open to your kids it ain't no big deal yeah no kid when they're around me is gonna feel neglected because it's our job as men no matter if it's your, your nieces nephews or anything, the woman you marry, if that's your stepchildren, they have to be able to learn from that man that's in that household. And for all y'all women that's with men that you know aren't good leaders, that don't even know how to change the tire, right? Y'all need to think twice about laying with them because how are they gonna teach your young boys to be men? Y'all gotta get out that lustful spirit just for having sex. Men, no, I, we a lot of men don't think like y'all. A lot of men when they have sex with y'all, they don't think like, oh, I'm gonna be, I wanna be with this woman. I'm gonna do no. Y'all are emotional creatures for a reason. You know what I mean? So y'all gotta think twice about who y'all laying with. And when it comes to bringing life in this world, you know, God gonna punish y'all as he see fit. Mm -hmm. You know, some people think that bringing life in this world is always a blessing. But my question is this. If two people are committing adultery with each other and they bring a baby in this world, how can that be a blessing? Right. Or the old saying, two wrongs don't make a right for people that don't understand what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. You know, so, hey, that's all, that's all I'm saying about that. And, you know, these, I know you guys are, like, really, really used to being single moms and it may look like it's weird for the children to go live with the daddy for a year and then go live with the mom for a year or live with the daddy for six months and live with the mom for six months. I know you guys are not used to that, but there's nothing wrong with that. Okay. Especially, especially if the man wants to do it. If the man is saying, you know what, baby girl, you could just leave and let me have my children. If the man is protesting that, why get mad? Why get mad? So it's not like I just drop somebody, some, some children up on the porch and just gone. They want their children. They want to raise them. They want to take care of them. They want to. Smoke a cigarette? I can't. I gotta ask my husband. Not on the seven. He said no. I'm slowly but surely winging her off of that bad habit. 
I can't smoke another one on the sapples. That's why I'm chewing gum right now, you guys. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. You know, for people starting to get to know me, I'm expecting for people to say, oh, he think he's perfect and all that. I'm telling y'all right now, I don't think I'm perfect at all. The goal is to strive for perfection. That's the goal. Strive for perfection and strive to be righteous. Build a, your own kingdom inside of this hellhole that we live in. Um, Millie, peace. I feel like you guys are running all on here. You try to get your little 15 minutes, 15 seconds of fame because you know production is in here. You know this video is going to be on YouTube. And you want to come up here and say stupid stuff just to drop down and think it's funny. We're having a mature conversation. You can't even understand what he's saying because you're so busy trying to come up here. Okay. Just to get, get, get some attention from the audience instead of having a real conversation. So... It's not cute. It's not funny. You know, you guys also talk about standard of how a woman should be and classy. And I'm giving you classy. So I respect the same back. If you if you want some hood rat time, stay in the comments. That's for the comments. That's for the trolls. If you can talk to me like a woman and not talk over me, I'll be silent when you're speaking. As long as you're respectful. If it's not respectful, I'll cut you off or drop you down. When it's time for me to speak, that means you're supposed to be silent. It's called decorum. So we're going to be respectful. We're going to be like daughters of Zion when I let you up in my in my box. And I expect that from not just the women, but the men. That we're going to respect each other because that's a commandment for us to love each other as we love each other, as Yahuwah. Like as we love ourselves, I mean. So let's respect each other. Even if you don't disagree with my life, even if you disagree with my life, that's not up to you. Okay. You can ask questions, whatever like that. But we're definitely going to have some decorum about it con do everybody agree to that hi i just had a question so with like you losing your kids or whatever to well not losing them I guess letting them go with their dad wouldn't that be your main priority not like getting with a man and like marriage so soon like well you know, um to answer your question you said her main priority is getting kids but she said would wouldn't it be my my main priority not to get married and have children I cannot I'm gonna ask you this one no um. I well, let me ask you a question. I said. So, first off, the guys that I had children by, we all went under some type of covenant before Yahuwah. They made promises that they could not keep. So, mm -hmm. when they didn't keep those promises, we no longer tied to those promises. Only thing that's left, that's left over from those promises is children. And they want their children. So, mm -hmm. that's it. Like, okay, they want their children. Okay. Um, okay, they want their children. What about you? That's what I'm saying. Like, wouldn't that be like? I want. I want them. I've been taking care. Of, I've been taking care of children since I was 15. I'm about to be 30. So yeah, if they want their children, they can have their children, and then I can visit. But I'm saying that wasn't like by choice. It was by force. Like they physically had no, to get no, their kids. No, that's not true. You, that's not true. Um, when it comes to the law, they always reach out to the fathers first to see if they want mm -hmm. them. If they say no, they would have found the next family member. And if they said no, then they wouldn't want to foster care. So no, they want their children. They're fighting for their children. They actually want for custody. So, um, why not let them have, them with, have what they want? Okay. And then one more question, then I'm a drop. Mm -hmm. Um, do you plan on having any more kids? soon now that you're married oh, but you want to answer that yeah if that's what the most hard deal is to be uh, if you want to know when i try to be graphic i don't use no comment if that helps oh okay well congratulations ahead of time i'm gonna drop bye bye
Hey, girl. Hello. So I wanted to say something because these people are weird and they're being irrational. Um, so you had time to raise your kids and be in your kid's life. It didn't work out. It's no handbook to life. It didn't work out. So now they have the opportunity to be with their father. So you now, you don't have no kids, no responsibilities. You see them when you see them. You get, you get to spend time with them when you spend time with them. But you're still a woman. You still have a life outside of your children, even if you did have your children. Mm -hmm. What you're doing right now is you're getting to know a man that could potentially help you raise your children. You're getting to know him for yourself before you bring him around your children. Right. We got so many, we got so many women out here that's so quick to once a nigga fuck them real good, they'll move a nigga in with their kids and he'll be a child molester. But that man that's sitting beside you, you are taking time out to get to know him while your kids are gone. And if God choose for your kids to be back with you, you got to know him for yourself. And you know that you want him in your life before you bring him into your children's life. And I don't get why they feel like because your kids are gone, you're supposed to be sitting somewhere miserable with a rose like they are playing with their own pussy. Right. <laughs> and, you from Baltimore? I am from Baltimore and what you said and what you said here home, people are weird. When you have a child with a man, nobody has custody when you birth that child. The mother don't have custody or the father don't have custody. One of you guys have to go down to the courthouse and file for um sole custody. Right. And then the other one gets joint custody. If a father choose to kidnap a child that hasn't been through the court system yet, it's not called kidnapping. It's called taking your child. Right. So whether the mother have them or the father have them, y'all both are the parents. Nobody has sole custody. One of y'all have to go get it. Right. Now you losing custody, they go with their father. What's the difference from them being with the father and the mother? Y'all both lay down. He's just as equally responsible for the child as you. Yeah. I don't understand why people feel like, okay, oh, all right, you didn't get it right. It's no handbook. It's nothing that says you're supposed to be the perfect mother. But let me tell you one thing. If God see fit for your children to be back with you one day, it's either they're going to miss where they were at and they're going to appreciate being away from you um, or they're going to miss you and they're going to be more respectful because I watch you from the beginning. I watch you struggle. I watch you struggle to discipline them. I watch Patrick come in and things got a little bit better with Patrick. He just don't have that instinct that you have. You get what I'm saying? He was a little rougher, but you got a little bit of structure with Patrick. Mm -hmm. They want to make it like you just this bad parent. No, you just didn't get it right the first time. Maybe you'll get a second chance. Maybe you'll get a chance to get it right if he choose to have children with you and you have him, you have your new child and y'all can have the other kids together and you won't be ra raising, you know, children single. Because them kids was off the chain before Patrick um, okay. came back okay. around. Okay, can we, thank they, you. They were off the chain. Y'all just be missing that part. I saw, I saw believe it or not, people don't like me when I get in the box because I'm irrational. Even with Queen I. Um, some they was talking about Queen Op and her son when Queen Op used to go live on here, and I had cussed Charlie out real, real, real bad. And Queen Op sent me five hundred dollars just for defending, you know, her and her child. Because when it comes to the kids, it's like okay, it's no handbook. Y'all talking about land the plane, land the plane. The plane is landed. The kids are with their father. Mm -hmm. She's living her life, you know, how she see fit. And if it's meant for them to be together and be a family, at least she took the time out to get to know this man before she introduced them to her kids. Maybe he's a better example than Patrick. Maybe he's a better example than their fathers are. But I don't see nothing wrong with what's going on. And these people are weird. I'm the one that messaged you. Um, you messaged me back on Facebook. You probably don't remember me, but I'm Miss Lowe. You sent me a, um, a heart and stuff but mm -hmm. yeah these people are weird they just um i don't know what it is why they attack you the way they do this is real life and we're getting to see it mm -hmm. a lot of people don't want you to see stuff like this they want to hide it and a lot of people are going through this a lot of people are dealing with a man right now that's um touching their daughter and fucking on their daughter 
and they know that he is and they won't leave him alone, they ain't leaving him alone because they want to keep a man around, mm -hmm. right? And But your daughter is somewhere where your father didn't do what he was supposed to do by you. So now she gets to spend time with her grandfather. He gets to make up for, yes. you know, and, and you did make a point right there. You, if your parents failed you as a parent, they have a second chance with their grandchildren. Yes. What's wrong with the kids being with their grandparents? Right. What's wrong with the kids being with their fathers? Right. So, no, I just wanted to come up and share that with you because everybody not against you. This is real fucking life. And these people, are, um, they think because you're a broadcaster or because we can see it, it's supposed to be perfect. No, it's not supposed to be perfect. You probably, you probably setting the, the standards for somebody else that's going through what you're going through so they can know what not to do and what to do. Right. But people so private, they want to keep this shit like this private. They want to keep mm -hmm. it private. And then they think that you're sitting up here trying to fool this man. This man clearly know what's going on. This man is smart enough to sit and have a conversation with us. So I know he's smart enough to type your name into YouTube mm -hmm. and anything he don't know, he can find out. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So like these people are weird. God bless you, girl. The water princess. She wasn't being biased. She was being honest, you know, and being realistic. I feel like what I wanted to do was I wanted to bring some transparency to the internet when people think of well, having seven children i wanted to potentially let your you know your little teenage daughters that's 12 13 years old that want to be grown come in here and watch angelic salt waves her kids you're gonna see this you know what i'm saying i didn't have parents tell me that like me and my daughter watched you like they see how hard it is they see how you got to get up every day you got to cook you got to clean how they how it is raising kids so how i have to make all these appointments and do this and do that so like you know, I wanted my life to be as realistic. We had some good times. We don't went to the park. We didn't have picnics. We don't went out to Zap Zone. We don't went go kart racing. Y'all didn't just see the bad. Y'all seen the good and the bad. But I think like most broadcasters, especially on YouTube, they edit their videos so you don't see their children acting up. You don't see the bad grades at school. You don't see the temple tantrums. All you see was is a good, perfect family, and that's it. And that's not real. That's not real. Mine was raw, uncut, and unedited. You got it firsthand. So anything that happened, it was surprise. It was surprise to me, and it was surprise to you. It was real life, real life. And I never came on the internet saying that I was this perfect mom. I always asked you guys, what should I do? What in this? And what should I do in that? And then when I asked, she was like, Well, you don't know. Well, you don't know. You judged me when I asked for help. For when I ask for different advice and stuff like that. You judge my mistakes. Oh, you gave your babies blended salmon. But you are the same people that said they should have eat the, the baby food out the, the meat that they served from Gerber. So I try to blend up some real meat. And that was a mistake. Okay, I was learning. But you were the same people that said that they shouldn't even eat the meat from the dry food. So, like, it was a learning lesson. A learning lesson. And first of all, my baby was not yet newborn. She was over five months. She was about seven months, okay? When I flat on her ponytail, you guys did not see me flat on my baby's hair every day. That was to see how long her hair was, was, was so I could start putting ponytails in it. You guys are definitely trying to over exaggerate it. Like I was trying to burn her or harm her. And that was not it. They really hate to be positive. I believe it can't be positive. Somebody with negative energy can't be positive. So you can't expect for people to be positive. I expect for people to be. You know, sideways. So when they are positive, I appreciate it. And I ask the most how to bless them. Like the sister that's from Baltimore. You know what I mean? You know, the most how to brought her along, you know, she's strong enough to be able to speak the truth that she felt was right. And I respect that uh, woman for that.
Hey, boo, how you doing? I'm well. You look so pretty today. So what on? I was just coming up to say, don't pay these comments. No fucking mind. I know it's kind of hard to do, um, but you're doing a great job. Every single parent goes through. We all fall short. We're human. And I just want to give you a hand clap because you're one of the strongest women that I know. And hats off to you. And I love the new hubby. And I wish the best for, for y'all. He seems very educated. And he seems very into you. Non-judgmental. Fuck these comments. They need to get a clue. They need to get some joy. They need to get some good yik. Okay? They need to get some smiles. Keep doing you. Keep not giving a fuck. And that's it. And that's all. Okay. I like good day. Sir. That's it. That's all. She said, I need to get some good dick. <laughs> and do. <laughs> but, um. Most of these women get pork and they know what. Right. Getting that swine stuffed in them. But no, um, this is kosher dick. <laughs> this is <laughs> vegan dick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> but no. Um, thank you guys for the hearts. Are you hungry, babe? No, uh, actually, I'm probably gonna give me another cup of coffee. Do you want to make it? No, I get it. Okay. I don't need to be eye candy while you're growing like that. She's not gonna stop it. I know, sister. What do you want, Drew? You look good. Wait. Is that happy? Um. Is that happy? That was definitely my husband. What's up? Where'd he go? He's going to go make some coffee. Yeah, it is a dude. Water on my spirit told me to move. You see how I moved once that moment? Once that dude came on? <laughs> how you doing? That's my spirit. Well, I do that. Don't do that. He's about to pop up, too. Wait, how you doing? He's Wait. going about his business. How may I help you, Drew? Dre. Dre, baby. It's Dre, baby. Oh, Dre. Dre, Dre, baby. Did the Aphrodite... Spirit come over him and tell him to move when he seen me. That spirit is so strong. Didn't he just say that? You know, you don't, we, we don't really um we don't really contest to homosexuals. How may I help you? Now that's so fucked up, Angelic. Come on. Well, I'm a human being. Don't you see the flesh of my flesh, the bones of my bones, the color of my hair, the hue of my skin. <laughs> The gloss on my teeth, the pink in my gums. I'm no different than and you. And this is and this is Sabbath, and you ran a wig, so you got a weave in too. So what does that say about you? You ain't so pure. I'm a woman. You got a What does that say about you? I, I'm a woman. These things were meant and designed for me. Women have children as well. So do men. Ooh, we're yours. With, their, with the man. <laughs> man. Not with the mother. I mean, it, they came out the man's nutsack, so. But they now with the, um. But you wouldn't know that because you can't produce children because you're laying on your back. For another man. Now. He's definitely a bottom. It's giving bottom. <laughs>
Nah, because gay men, they stick their legs up behind their ears too. But anyways, we're not going to go into homosexual, so homosexuality and how they get sexual pleasures from another man. I don't even want to go into that. It's disgusting. Ah, oh, he's back. Bitch, why are you why trying to run, want? dog? Why what do you want? Run? Why do you want to argue with me? Because why are you trying to run, dog? What do you want? You want to argue? Why are you running? Because you got a homosexual spirit. And it's a sad I what do you want? I got a take off spirit. The, well, take don't. off the wig when you talk to me then. Talk to me like a man. Girl, don't feel like <laughs> I'm I just saying. Talk. Well, let me talk to a man, the man of the house. Where he at? So I can get in his he not. He don't want to talk to you with no wig on. Okay, well, I'm about to take it off. Where he at? I, baby, you want to talk to this um, homosexual? <laughs> Why are you saying it like that, girl? My name is Dre, baby. Introduce me as Dre. Baby. You want to talk to this homosexual? How you doing, big brother? He said, if you talk normal, take the wig off, maybe. I'm talking normal. Okay, let me look. look. How you what doing, big brother? What, what do you want to talk about? Okay, can I, I... I would like to introduce myself. Damn, Angela, can a man talk? Can men talk? There's men in the room. Go make oh, us some coffee. Now he's a man. I've always been a man, sir. How you doing? So if you're a man, why do you want to be a woman? I don't want to be a woman, sir. Can then I talk to you? Take off the wig, Andrew. Well, take I'm off the wig. It's off. I have no hatred towards nobody. I'm someone Wait, that... Wait, where, like, where are you? You don't need to see me, brother. So let me ask you this. You know she got seven kids? No, I don't know that. Oh my goodness. How can you have seven kids and Delica? Oh my good that's me being funny. Yes, <laughs> I know she got seven kids. <laughs> okay, so they say that you only want three of the seven. Is that true? Now Ooh. it sounds like you're trying to do an interview. Ooh. Right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Ooh, clock at clock at so, so if you want to do an interview, you might want to send some money to her cash app. Y'all run Angelica up, y'all. Everybody sent her a dollar. Somebody said they just sent Angelica chat. Somebody said they sent 20. So, sorry, is that true about the seven kids? Uh, and, um, sir? They said, what's the CA? Angelica, they didn't even hear you say the CA. Oh, uh, it's Angelic SOU. Ooh, I got a little something too. Thank you for get her for me. Okay, you know yo y'all. Um, wait. They said they sent. Did you check my books? They didn't send anything. How you know, bitch? You ain't even gonna okay, check. You know, sometimes you gotta refresh. You gotta refresh your page. Keep saying I said. Just keep saying I sent y'all. I sent. I sent. Keep saying it. Let's see. The be like I sent. I sent. <laughs> Did they, oh look I just sent 50 somebody said they just sent 50 look I just sent 50 nobody didn't send anything you know CA has been tripping hold on me say cause mine say pending they said just sent 40 y'all sent me something too they said okay so they, they send a bitch you need to just like girl relax they didn't send anything Anyhow. they are sending right. though girl CA is tripping right now you gotta accept it no girl, it's not nobody is not sending anything Girl, don't you keep saying they saying they sending? She lying, Dre. Right? Oh, I know she's not trying to run off with the money. Now, that's what? There's no babe. Can you go grab my other phone, please? What is that, babe? Yeah. I've never been like that, so don't 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 bear no false witness. <laughs> Girl, did he know that she was trying to suck pussy? Get here. Tell him about that. Because <laughs> you're bearing false witness and all this bullshit. Girl, <laughs> you is a joke. You is a trap, bitch. If I was around you, girl, I would look you in your eyes and see all that deceit, bitch. I would see all that deceit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> you don't know shit. <laughs> Look at her twist them out. So she swiped up. Girl, just keep saying you saying. I ain't saying her shit. Keep saying your saying. Right. Right. So, yeah, you guys are not sending nothing, and you're telling people not to send. So, you can talk to the wig and, and the faggot behind you. Yeah. Wait, can I please get a cigarette, please? Just one more. No, you said you want me to help you, so I'm going to help you. Okay. Everybody just stop smoking cigarettes. I got a vape, but they didn't have no more um, fluid at the CVS, so I had to buy new parts. And if I hit the little blunt, the little piece that I got that's about this big, I'm gonna want some cigarettes. Cause I got the Vuel vape and they didn't have that brand. They only had the other brand. Yeah. He don't smoke anything. He's pure. Trying to be pure. Can I do like 10, 10, 10 sit-ups and 10 push-ups for one Lucy? You think you can do, you think you can do that? Mm-hmm. You know you only do that when you when you on, on that line. It's something about that you feel like you got to do that. Please. I'm addicted. That's exactly why I said it. But I haven't about. been but I haven't been smoking a lot. I what sm did we agree on last night? <sighs> Wait, I'm and I'm you, over here you, scratching like a crackhead. You know, you know what I was thinking with my with my ex when she had that issue. I told her. I don't want you to end up like that. I'm not, baby, and I'm not. Just please let me get one, Lucy. Please, I can't just quit tur cold turkey like that. I didn't tell you to quit cold turkey. You had one already. Okay, but you, it's well, been you hours. Had, you had two, but it's right? been hours, babe. It's been hours. You have two? Yes, but it's been hours. What did you tell me last night? See, yep, mm-hmm. Can I just have one, please? Uh, how we gonna be together if I don't know how you are when you don't have cigarettes? If you a different person without them, I need to know now before anything else. Just like with me, if I had the issue, you need to know now before anything else. But no, I promise you, babe, that if I smoke this one cigarette, then I'm probably just gonna want one more tonight before I go to sleep and that's it. Because you're trying to get me to quit cold turkey. It's like no, trying to get a crackhead to stop smoking crack. Technically, I'm not because you had two earlier today. I mean, true enough. Before you, you say you smoke. Okay, they said you got some beans. How may I help you? Girl, so PK make some money. Nope. Mm -mm. <laughs> Why not? I know this Vigo stuff. I stopped pressing the button. What do you want? Girl, I want to make some money. You want to make some money. I'm not a host on here. Oh, dang, for real? For real, for real. Well, let me put you on my agency. You know I got an agency. I'm banned for a year. The app bans you? Yeah. Oh, no, I can get that. I can get that settled in 20 minutes. Hold on. What's your original Vigo ID? You don't trust me? Do you want to get your host page back? It's Angelic S O U. Okay, who agency you in? 
Boss Barbies. Oh, so they told Barbie you banned? Bigo banned me. And they can't they can't use no they can't use no um VIP points to get me unbanned. They said the Barbie didn't want that book unbanned. So what okay, so they couldn't even help you. I know Barbie could definitely got you unbanned, so clearly something is going on behind the scenes. Yeah, it's it's Beagle. They're not Damn. letting her. Not, she even showed me proof of her sending the VIP points and they won't Beagle won't let her. Mm. But you know, sometimes you gotta write an apology letter. I already did that. They in a letter. Oh, you did? Mm-hmm. Wow. Did you, like, say you were sorry? I did all of that. Even so Keith, can... not Keith, even Brendan Key trying to get me unbanned, and he couldn't do it. Dang. Well, I know another way, but we got to talk on back, and don't worry about five, don't worry about 500. For what? To get your page back. Okay, we could talk. Okay. But I can get it back done for free. Okay, and how you gonna do that? I know a person, I know a person, I know a person. Okay, we'll stop being around the bush. How do we do it? Okay, but first you need to do this VK because I need to get beans. Okay. That right, bro. <laughs> You're trying to trap me in some shit. My husband is on the phone with his sister right now, so. He's on the phone with his sister. Yeah. I'm talking, I'm talking to you. That is your man. That is your love. That's your noot noots. What's the tea? Is, did he fix the garage door? We don't work on the Sabbath. Did y'all fix the garage door? He doesn't work on the Sabbath. Who? He don't work on the Sabbath. What's that? It's the day that the, the Jews keep a high holy day. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny? You just they said that's on Sunday. It's no, Sunday. that's for Christian. That's what Christians do. We do it Friday sundown to Saturday sundown. Sunday is the beginning of the, of the day of the week. Yeah, Sunday I is the beginning. with his sister. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he is. Okay, so stay out of this. Stay out of this, please. I will yeah. if you actually admit that uh, what you're doing in your life is wrong. Mm-hmm. I am sorry. Okay, can you, can, uh, Brava? If you want to be, Brava, I want to come to you, man to man. Can you give me some some advice? Well, first of all, you stop sucking judge dick. me and cast the stone. It seems like y'all judging me and want to cast the stone. If I'm not living a life, the right life, then try to give me some words of wisdom, some words of encouragement. Don't okay, well, be the judge and the jury. I want to talk to that all, brother because he seems like he got some knowledge on his head. Okay, he'll talk to you. I'm sure he'll and you talk to you. You let the man be the man, and you be the woman. He's, he's on the phone the right now. Front. He's on the phone right now. Well, he's entertaining both calls, it seems like. So can he have a conversation with me, sister? Sister soldier, sister angelic. He's My on the soldier. phone right now. <laughs> You're so well, so. He, he must talk. You're very feisty, and I need you to. I'm not. I'm not feisty. You just fake. Well, you're... How am I fake? One minute you one way, the other minute you're the other way. No. So last time, the reason why me and you kind of shifted gears is because you started bringing up homosexuality, the LGBT community. When we I were didn't having bring a that conversation, Thomas did, and. You read it out loud knowing it was going to bring mess. Well, I don't understand why you would read it out loud knowing 
it would bring my You head. read it out loud. You read it out loud. They wrote it no, in the comments. You said you responded to the comments. Because you responded and I responded to you. They put it in the comments. You read it out loud and I responded. And now we're here. Because you asked me a question. You said, so do you believe this way? And I said, yes. Right, but she was just hanging with gays. That's so weird. And I told you that that, I was a, that was a horrible mistake of mine. After I learned my lesson from that, I haven't hung around them since. Because they're but messy. speaking of... Spe oh, so that's why you're hanging. It's not because of your spirituality. It's because they messy. Yeah, they messy right. and they want to fight. Right. All the time. I don't okay, hate so you. you. I don't like hate... Right. I don't hate I don't hate, I can hang around gays. Most gays I hang around that I see, they want to fight. They want to, it's just too much. Was, was that the case with the kids? What's the case with the kids? Ain't the kids fruity? <laughs> no, they're not. Oh, because I heard the boys was playing with the boys and the girl was a bull dagger. Well... I heard your mama not alive and she abandoned you. You want to go there? I'm just saying we talking about what we heard. Well, is it true? No, is it true? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, the boys was the boy the boys <laughs> the boys was playing around with each other. They wasn't. You said it. No, I did not. You didn't call the little girl a bull dagger? No. She wasn't doing some weird shit? No. Not when the girl, no. <laughs> you is so... Uh, you're the liar. You are a I'm liar. not a liar. You, somebody bring me the No, class. what was said was her best friend said she didn't know whether she liked the girl or boys and I didn't want her around that. Girl, what? Yeah. And the kids wasn't supposed to be kids touching on each other? No, they wasn't. You didn't see no weird shit going on? No. Never? Never, never. Wow. You just sitting up here lying because of that man. You know that man got them tainted kids about to come in the house. You're a little nervous. Because you got a different kind of batch of kids. <laughs> yeah, what? Kids a little different I have guy. a different... What that's supposed to mean? <laughs> you got a set of different kind of kids. Which means, you know, the mother's a little weird. She's a little... I'm definitely weird. weird. I'm weird. So the kids are... I'm special. I'm peculiar. That's me. Yeah. You are a trip. I'm just being 100. You don't like me for real. You want the, you want me to go back to angelic soul, and call you all types of bitches and hoes, or you want me to be a grown ass woman I like I've been before I was on Bigo? Well, grown ass women do grown ass things, bitch. So, is you really a grown? I'm doing woman? a grown ass thing right now. Such as what? 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 Cause you late with a man that makes it so grown. It's not what? about what a makes man. It so grown? I make sure what my business so is taken care of. What makes it? So Cause why? My best is taken care of, so. Right. Yeah. Yeah. When it gets to that, yeah, you get a little nervous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not nervous. I'm not nervous. Mm -hmm. My children's with their fathers, girl. I mean, boy. All, like, of, them. All of them? And the other ones are with the father that didn't raise me. So he, he, he's righting his wrong. <laughs> so when is your right going to be wrong? When is your wrong going to be right? My right is is getting correct. My wrong is getting corrected right now because it was never Cause meant how? for me to be a because it was never meant to me for me to be a single mother. So what are you now? A wife and a mother. No Where they at? They with the fathers. Because because your that's, rights that's where they nut came from. Because, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because right, your rights from. were snatched. Your rights was because that's where they came from. That's where they came from. Right. That's why. So now you with another man with no kids. How does that sound? Mm, it sounds that's good. Reset. That's reset. Let's reset. Okay.
What's your husband's name? Tony. Tony is on the phone with his sister? He is. Okay, so y'all got married. Now, it was a rumor that he is doesn't want all the kids in the house. Is that true? That's not true. Did he say something about who can come, who can't come? No. We were just talking about... Planet? We were talking about blended families and about um, just the space. And he's more understanding of the younger kids and him with the older kids, or he wants the older kids, not the younger kids, to blend down. We won't blend all of them, but we were just trying to figure out the space and arrangements we were going to figure out when it comes to the other parents. Oh, because the fathers don't want to bring them back. Right. Oh, so the ones that's with your father, right? You said your dad. Mm hmm. They coming back. That's that's where the whole three kids came from. Got it. Got it. Got it. So, how is he supposed to like get used to it? Because them kids was screaming, they was yelling. Um, this is, we definitely talked about some rules that have to be um set. For who? Him? For them. Oh, no, 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 no. You don't get no motherfucking kids no rules, boo. You better let them go to Disney World and eat ice cream and cake all motherfucking day. Girl, they've been under rules for the last how many months? They've been under supervision for how many months? Girl, you better stop giving them kids rules. That's what got your ass in trouble the first time. The motherfucking rules. You need to stop with these weird ass rules that you got. <laughs> That's your problem, girl. Leave them rules alone, okay? Let no, the problem is they were very unruly, and there's not going to be none unruly in this household. No, because I remember that the little girl had a problem with the babysitting thing being in the room. It was a room situation. Do you got that mm -hmm. figured out? Is they going to have rooms this time? She could she be a little girl and like do little girl things, don't have to keep babysitting for you, and having the little boy come in the room and you know she's getting of age you know she's getting like she need her personal space yeah she because that was a but she, she always had her she always had her personal space though it was just but that she, she didn't she didn't want she didn't she didn't want to like um help out as much as she did but then that would mean that I have to change my schedule and so I was doing that, like, you know, working while they was at school and stuff like that with the household. And so when they come home, it's not like she's got to hold the baby while I'm cooking, you know. Mm -hmm. So you got one girl, two girls. Three. Three girls? Mm-hmm. Oh, girl, you got your work cut out. I think you're more groomed to boys. You think so? Because the girl was a little difficult for you. Um, I think that the boys is more difficult. Damn, I think all of them was difficult. Forget no <laughs> shade. <laughs> I think Shelly was all a little difficult. <laughs> no shade. <laughs> so, um, what's your plans for the girl this time, girl? Is, like, is you going to hear her out? Um. She's very vocal. She's very passionate. The girl, the girl is probably gonna stay where she's at. I thought she just said she gonna have her own room. Yeah, it's just there's something going on with that. So you can't deal with her. You can't deal with her. It's not. But that. you know what? I'm not. Well, that's probably best. No shade. <laughs> No shade. No aid, she, no shade. She, just, she no. just don't feel comfortable with moving into Another someone man. else's home. Yeah. Why you didn't give the kids the opportunity, though? That's make sure that's that stuff. Why didn't you give the kids the opportunity to see you by yourself? But they don't get the opportunity to choose. Well, she wants me to want to stay single until they grown. She don't give me, she don't tell me I have to stay single till she grown. No, but I'm just saying, it's always men. They never just get, because it's always, you become submissive to the husband. Then you listening to him. 
Now it's they back in this cycle again of a man running everything and you falling behind a man and oh, stop it. She's, she's but I think it's much. because she's so used to um and not working out. That was her big issue. But and then you so, put her back in the No, because by the time before they come back, we're gonna I'm gonna be legally married. Does that make it any different? It does. Because she was saying, like, well, the guys never did marry you. They you say you was engaged, they got you rings, but you never really they got married. Are you hesitant because he don't have no kids? I'm not hesitant. He said we can get we our date is planned in August, but he said it could be before. So No, I'm talking about bringing all them kids and he has no kids, meaning he probably don't know how to be around kids twenty four seven. Knowing they cry, scream, they're gonna be up all types of nights, making all kinds of noises, running in your room. Uh, mommy, 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 and shit, and eating all the food up and shit, cooking, not cleaning the dishes, bathroom might have a little bit pee on the toilet. Do you think he about to be ready for all that? No, he's not. He's not. It's not going to be done. That's not going to happen. No, that's the absolute. What? Moment. What I just described is motherhood. Mommy, mommy, uh, all night screaming, cooking, cleaning. No, there's there's going to be order. He's not allowing that. He's not already already said what he's not allowing. No, he's, he's not allowing. Not allowing. He's not allowing. No. He's not gonna. He's not. He's not going to allow piss on the toilet seat to stay there. He's not going to allow them not to do chores. And he's gonna. Who the you fuck know, is to- he? No man that does not know my kids is going to be telling my kids what to do. Bitch, he needs to. What I say. He don't know them. Why you mean what he? What he gonna allow? Is he gonna be able to hit them? No, nobody's I'm hitting anyone. No, nobody's hitting anyone. So okay. You so if your so you if your me. sister so if your if your sister kids came over your house, is they allowed to piss on the toilet seat, eat all your sugar snacks? So actually, I was supposed to get custody of my sister kids. My sister kids is my sister kids is not with her, and I wanted custody of her kids, but I can't get custody of her kids because. Um, I'm a felon. Anytime your kids are in the system, felons can't take control of your kids. So she had to get spread throughout. The kids had to get spread throughout the family. So I was going to take my sister kids, actually. And you was but going to allow them to piss on your toilet seat or you're going to teach them how to correctly pee and wipe up after themselves? Well, we're not talking about any ordinary kids. We're talking about angelic souls bunch. The rowdy pack. Now, you know your kid's a little different, girl. That's what I keep saying. <laughs> the angelic soul kids. You know, your kid's just a little bit different, boo-boo. <laughs> you know, they digging in each other, touching each other, playing in asses and dicks and pussies and doing weird shit. They're not, doing, so, they're not know, doing They're not doing They're They're not doing that. But I think that you keep oh. saying that because you so used to somebody digging in your ass and playing with your um <laughs> producer. <laughs> That, that um, um that now you think that every childhood <laughs> trauma is supposed to be your childhood well, trauma. Every chi- well, yeah. I every childhood t- situation is different, and you know yours is a little bit different. Right? Mine's is different only because I have seven. Yes. Seven different personalities, and you know what I mean? A lot of trauma. Your daughter is traumatized. She needs delicate care. And a man, I think a man being around her is different. So you saying she ain't coming back, that's probably good. No shade. I'm not being funny. I'm not trolling. Her probably not coming back is probably best because it she probably needs is. delicate. Like, do you, do you think y'all cool? Is y'all cool? You and her cool? Yeah, but she don't get the shoes for me to stay single until she grown. That's not how that works. Why are you in? Wait, hold on. Hold on. Angelic soul, why are you why are you interpreting that as why are you why is your mind developed like that? Why are you thinking of it in that way? Like because that's what that's what that could because that was the ultimatum. But you didn't you didn't internalize that as something else. Like this I is did. A, like I understood. I understood. I understood what it was, and so that's why I gave the opportunity to slowly but surely allow my family to meet him you know so, so no. you're not just put here and placed here you just come visit every now and then get the chance to meet him so that way when it comes to a situation where you're put here legally you're not uncomfortable like you just come into someone's a stranger's home but Me you don't have of it. To, as a child 
you don't you tell don't me that I have to stay single until you grown. Like, no. Me, sometimes kids just go by what they say. You have to be, in my opinion, not saying you, but I would think your opinion wouldn't have just heard it like that. I would have took it like, well, dang, she's crying out for just us time, more bonding time, mother always being around men, not married, abusive men, men that yell, scream, and holler. I would have internalized it like that and just heard her say that, though. It's I It's like did. she's saying that, but that's not what she, you, I don't, I'm, I'm gagging you took it like that, though. No, I heard what she said, and I, I agree. But because I'm telling her this is a different situation, and, and her and her mind and what she's been through, she think it's going to be the same because I said it's going to be different before and didn't be different. That I can't just stop my life because she thinks it's going to be different because it's not going to be different because it, it's different. It's different. It's just a whole different situation. So that's what but I'm, I'm saying, saying. For the kids' sake, why didn't you just? wait to move in with him for the kid's sake. Like, okay, I'm going to show you how I'm doing different. He's not moving in. We're not living together. He's far. We're dating. We're talking but about he, marriage. But, the, but they're the, not here. But they're not here from them to make that. So I'm supposed to stay at, no. My other house still, is still available. My other house is going to stay available. The the but they're not here right? to say that. Just because they're not here don't mean they can't hear the progress. The progress has only got three more weeks till my parents' class is over and I'm in therapy. Right, but I'm talking about as far as the men. The therapy is one part, but the men is the other part, right? You said she said that. It's not men, it's a man. I'm with one man. One man. I'm talking about her saying that men, how men don't marry you. Men don't, men come around. Men right, right. right. But by the time they come back, I will be married. So she can't use that as an analogy. Everything different is going to be a piece of paper and commitment. It's still a man there. It's still and no man I ever been a... with was was able to supply me with the car in the house somewhere to lay my head. They was always moving in with me. It's different. So now I'm just saying, think about her coming to another man's house, not her house. She probably will still think of order with him. Is he going to be able to tell her what to do? Get up, clean up. Do this, you're punished. Did you think about it like that too? He gonna want to have some power too. Is he gonna re rely all I mean, on if you? He's my husband, if he's my husband, Miss Angelic gonna let that man tell them kids they are punished. And Miss Angelic gonna let them kids tell them, let them tell them kids get up. You not about to take order. But what? But what's? But what's? But what's? But what's wrong with that? She don't motherfucking know them. How the fuck well, the guy, well, the guy, the guy, well, the guy, well, the guy that's her father treated her worse. Bitch, is it a scale? Yeah, Bitch, it's, a scale? Part, it's a scale when a man oh, is coming in. No, it's a scale is because you can't say it's anything that's bad, that bad if it didn't happen. Okay. I think that's you guys are trying to. Be way worse than physical. It's girl. like you guys we are waiting for something to happen. You guys are trying to accuse my husband of something that, that he didn't even do. This like, has nothing to do with him. Making it about him. You making it? It's about him. It's about no, she's making it about him. Everybody's making it about him. Kids, but it's going to become about him if them kids are in his house. Because now it's his house, his rules, the way he want to parent, the way he needs to learn how to learn your kids. So it, it's going to have everything to do with him. No, it, no, so I'm, still it I'm still a mother. I'm still a mother. I'm still a mother. Well, we we can style in the parents is to be submissive to the man. I see how you are. You're very submissive to your man, and you now marry. You're gonna be extra submissive, especially under this martial law religion you got. Men come first and serve your man and please him and do 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 do. You're gonna be quiet, Angelica, because that's who you are naturally. You're naturally a submissive woman who likes men to be in control. So imagine him loving on your kids, telling your kids what to do behind your back, and if. For them, they're not getting the love that they think they deserve, but you think it's all love because he's controlling the house, he's the head of the house, and you like shit like that, girl. Just keep it a G. You like that. But what's, you like wrong, but what's, but, but what's wrong with order? But they supposed don't to be know. Off, let me finish. 
Do they supposed to be writing all over the wall, pissing over the seat, going in and out the refrigerator anytime they want to, making the messes and not cleaning it up? That's what a man's supposed to do. Teach them order and structure. And I'm going to be right there beside him. Like, yes, go in the bathroom, get some bleach, clean off the toilet. Okay, when you drop something, go wash, pick it up. There's nothing wrong with structure. Because obviously that's what my children lacked from day one was structure. And what makes you think he going to be the one to give it? What makes you think that he's not? Why would I think that he's not? When he secured me in every type of insecurity that I have. So why would he not? Sister, we back at square one with you and this man. Girl, so what's going on with the slams? Everybody's <laughs> making it about him. I and you, and nobody get to choose, nobody get to choose that I have to stay a single mother and be by myself for the rest of my life. Not even them, not even my children. Nobody get to choose that I have to stay a single mom. It's not happening. I'm not going to be single for 18 years because my children don't know, don't trust that I'm going to get married and they're going to know. Get somebody else to do it. Like, I'm not about to be single just because. I know. I, I mean, I, 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 Mama got to have a life too, I guess. So you know what I mean. So, so, so twin kids. They said Cooper not treating the kids right. Who's Cooper? I can't talk about. I can't say my um my children's father's name on here. I told you I have a gag order. So it's the kid twins coming back. If they, I cannot. I can't. I can't talk about them. I just said I have a gag order. <laughs> so, oh, because of social media? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so you can't talk about that. Okay, so <laughs> will certain kids be eligible to come back? Those certain ones? Yeah. Mm hmm. Certain, okay. certain ones. Can that group, you know, that certain group come back? Um, I don't, I would say visit. It's never. It's only. It's not going to go back to Angelic plus seven souls again. And if it do, it's only going to be on weekends and 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 in the summertime. But it's not going to go back to me being a single mom, just taking care of seven kids all the time. Never see a man around. Never. No, it's never going to go back to that ever again. I told you guys uh, that. There, the other parents are involved, and so I'm not going to go back to being a single mom. How did you get here, sis? I don't even know. It's like, <laughs> I don't even know. I, was, here. I have to ask myself that. Like, I don't even know how the I got here. <sighs> Can you describe it in one word? I can't. Everything switches around so quickly. I can't even describe it. Bigo. Maybe. We're going to start with Bigo. I talk to you when I talk about the kids. You seem to have a figuring out phase. Like, it's like you're trying to figure it out. But when I talk to you about your husband and the roles under your religion, you're so adamant and you're so quick and sharp and knowledgeable. That's what's Because it's not, is. because I, it's not like I can make the decisions on my own anymore because the other parents are involved. So legally, they have a, as much say so as I have. That's why. And I think you guys in your mind is so used to me being a single mom that, but now I'm not a single mom anymore. The fathers are involved. So now it's not like I can just be like, I want everything to go back the way I can't even legally say that because they have as much as percentage of parenting time as I have when it comes to that point. So it's got to be 50-50. And 50-50 don't always look like the father's getting them on the weekends in the summer. Sometimes 50-50 can be the mother get them on the weekends in the summer. It's all, it all depends on what's best for the children. And my children, like, in some situations, are in very good school districts and, you know, good structure. And I'm not going to pull them out of that just so I can be like, oh, I got them. I'm the mother. I, I have all the rights. It's, it's about what's, what's the well-being for them. 
So mm-hmm. I have children with men. I didn't impregnate myself. So you basically said you needed help and you wasn't getting it initially. Right. And I and I tell that story and then I had the whole um doctor on live saying that I went to a mental hospital in 2018 and I was pregnant with my son. Like I had these m- mental breakdowns, but then if it happens in real life on on the real screen, then they were like, "Oh, well, then they want to come take the children." It seemed like okay, so you got on track with it and then you was able to kind of communicate, but now the communication has been cut off apparently. What do you mean? You were able to have a certain communication at one point because you said you can't talk about it because of the oh, courts. Oh, okay, yeah. Again. Mm-hmm. But how did your communication now become so not necessary? You can't talk no more. Exhibit A, the internet. Wait, but if you were able to be there and, vi- you know, see, hi, visit, because now they don't no more want, I can't because they don't want me to mention any of my children's name or nothing about the case. Because they feel like it's harming them. So neither one of us, not not me, not the fathers can we can't even mention each other. Like we can't talk about nothing. So you keep asking, you keep on saying, Why you got all these answers for the I got all my answers for this that too, but I just can't talk about it. So if that was the case, right, why not delete the app? Why? Why why delete it? You just said it was causing harm. That's why I'm not talking about them. That, 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 that's the reason why. Because of the app. What what that that, that I'm not saying them right now? Yeah. Right. No, it was because I was mentioning what's going on with the case. On the app, right? Not just on the app, anywhere on social media. Right, so why or not any, Or it? any, not just anywhere on social media, anywhere with any family, friends, peers, any private conversations, any text messages, none at all. So it wasn't... <laughs> wait, this is... What? <laughs> Yeah, Girl, it's not. It's not just. It's not just Vigo. It's Miko. <laughs> it's YouTube. It's Facebook. It's text messages between families and friends. Like, it's a complete gag order. So that warranted you getting your 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 rights were stricken. Yep, temporarily. Okay, so you have. What's the steps you're taking? Are you going to delete? Be going. Not, not. That's, I'm just telling you, I can't talk about it. That's the stuff that I'm taking. And I'm saying you. Okay, so will you be deleting the apps? The show that you are del- making to what make sh- to, to just shop. No, um, I'm not. But I just don't. I won't mention my children names. Okay. Um. So that means I would have He's to delete the- Facebook. I would have to delete YouTube. I would have to delete Miko, Biko, TikTok. I would have to delete all social media platforms. I'm not about to delete everything. So, <clears throat> so when the kids come back, the podcast, how is that for happen? Where are they going to be at? Where are they going to have to be when you do your podcast, which means it has to be quiet in the house? Where are they going to be? No, no, no. Once I'm done with CPS, I'm done with CPS. They can't tell me what not to do. They're out of my life. Right now, they're in my life. So there are certain things I can't do. No, I'm just saying. Where are they going to be? But once I get them, once once they come, once my family come back with me, then there will be no restrictions about no social media. Right now it is because they're not in my care. But I'm not asking about this. I'm just saying, where are they going to be in general? Not with the... Restrictions. Um, where are they well, I'm gonna give them an opportunity to choose whatever they want. But if they agree, then we're gonna go on YouTube only. You and the kids. Yeah, every, all of us, the family. You putting them back on? If they agree, yeah. If they agree, the kids gonna agree then disagree. They agree then disagree. You can't see, what's, see what's the difference is. 
it was everything live situation. So it will like when I do my YouTube stuff. Ooh, that's only gonna... beautiful. Can I see your ring? It's beautiful. These are old. These are old. Oh. But um, when I do it go on YouTube, it's gonna be like pre-recorded, and it's only gonna be like food bangs, pranks, like story time when we go out to the mall, like stuff like that. It wouldn't be like all day, every day with the camera up. It would be pre-recorded stuff that I put on there. So. All that, where everything is live, yeah. stuff that I was saying, that's so done. Expect, <laughs> this is expected to be over within the next few weeks. Um, no. Few days? No. Few months? Yeah. Few months. So, like, maybe August. Y'all be back as a whole in the August, September. Well, some of them, at least. How's the person classes? Is it beautiful? Is it like alarming? Is it like a group of girls, group of moms, or is it more so of like systematic it's, shit? It's just everybody who have problems with it's some people that sign up themselves. It's people who dealing with court that have to do to get to get their children back. All I know is they know me at the parenting classes. They don't seem to find my videos on TikTok, so they know why I'm there. There at the parenting class. Are they like fans? They just asked me, was I okay? I'm like, are you okay? I'm like, yeah, I'm okay. It's like, if you've seen all your videos on TikTok, so I'm like, yeah, I'm okay. Oh, uh, so they like hug on you and support you? Basically support, yeah. Do you, do people stop you out and about and be like, Angela, I know you? Um, no, but like when I get like certain door dashed, um, stuff and when I'm at like different areas, I can see people like looking and stuff, but nobody Wait, don't stop you. Can we meet him? He's still talking. I ain't hear him no more. Oh, okay. So, do you get more love or hate? I get more hate online, but more love in, pu in public. People be wanting to take pictures? No. I'm just saying, like, nobody don't have that same energy in public. They just, if they oh, see they me, you could, I could tell by their reaction on their face that they know of me. But they don't try to attack me or, like, be aggressive. But on the internet, they're aggressive. Mm -hmm. So that I like um, that they're not going to attack me and stuff. Do you love your kids? I love them, yes. All of them. Unconditionally? Unconditionally. So if one of them said they were gay, how would, that, how would you respond? Um, I will... Teach the laws and commandments and um, let them know that as far as in my household, what they can't do. But if they were to marry or be with somebody, I would not go to none of their weddings. I would not participate in no family functions um, <laughs> and stuff like that. And you said how they can be in your household, which means what? That in my household, you will wear what's pertaining to a man if you're a man. And you will wear to what's pertaining to a, a female if you're a female. And no, no young boy is going to be putting on no dresses and clicking on heels. Okay. So you just talk more far as how they dress, not just how they act. So well, I how they bold. act too. Like certain ways they do with their hands, you know, stuff like that. Like they they have their certain sassy, the way they talk. You can't, it, but you can't it. control that. You can't control that. That's I can. But how? Why are you trying to... Um, why are we talking about this? Because I'm just talking... We're talking about the orders of your steps. That's why I'm trying to get to know who you are in general. Like, you saying you can control how they talk. What you going to say? I'm shut up. Don't talk like that. That's what I'm saying. Like, Yeah, I would tell them Shammai, which means be quiet. Don't speak that way in this household. Put us some bass in your voice. Put them in some boxing classes and karate classes. You know, train them up. Oh, and if they disobey, is it time to go? If they disobey, then they would not participate in certain things that they want to participate in, so they change. Oh, I think, yeah. That's just something to look out for, sisters. It could be a trigger for you and your spirituality. Well, as far as for me and my household, they're gonna serve, we're going to serve God. 
when they get older, they can do whatever they want to do, but I won't participate in it. But if they call my phone, they need some food, I'll give it to them. But I'm not going over to their house to go have no chicken salad with no fag. I'm just not. What if no they be fence. like, Mommy, I seen you with 21 in Detroit. Five. What was you doing? Do anything for clout. Well, Mommy, and I regret why it. Was you trying to come into, um, why was you trying to come and see KO house, Mommy? Well, TKO is, that's not gay. So I'm trying to understand, like. What? That was, was kind of going to be like a reality show. He's going to sign paperwork. That was a show that I was on for content. So do you have all your answers? I'm, I'm going to go get some lunch. Wait, where is he at? You said he didn't even talk to him. Hi. I wouldn't get to talk because, to him yet. And say hi to him. We want to meet him, sister. You give us well, everything. Not, you want to talk to me, but, you know, I'm used to y'all. He... We, I'm not trolling him, sister. We're not trolling him. We just but won't be like, he, what's he up? He said what he said. He just said, you know... He said, take off my wig. He said, take off my wig. He said, he uh, where's the Mula De Nero? Y'all want interviews. That's what he said. We're not... We're just saying what's up to him, how he is. Hi, brother. What's up, big bro? You're so rude. I just told you he's on the phone. Oh, shit, my bad. Oh, yeah, let me know. So, let me know because. Uh, what you having for lunch, sister? What you having for lunch? Yep. I'm having. Um, oh, that body is snatched. Yeah, it's already. Yeah. It's old as hell. Some rolls that I made yesterday. Oh. Um. <laughs> what you got like with some rice or some potatoes? Which is potatoes? Potatoes and carrots. You at work? You in your office right now? <laughs> that looks good. I mean, show you how I'm doing this thing. Hey, it probably looked good when she heated up. <laughs> oh, why do you prefer? <laughs> What's so funny? Girl, eat, heat up your food and stop thinking everybody. Girl, you I mean, uh Drew Baby, you be shady for real. Dre oh, baby, baby girl, you gonna get a cute he stop saying Dre. I'm sorry. I'm not being shady. <laughs> These comments is key cackling over here, girl. Did you, did you make biscuits oh, to dip it in? Like, or some like, when I get my roast, I like a little biscuit or a roll of yeah. cotton. I really don't like bread like that. So. Oh, it's real tough. Oh, it's, it's real tough. What you cutting out? Oh, oh some cornbread? Some roast? <laughs> it's real time. Why are you cutting it like that? <laughs> Is you eating steak? <laughs> what you got with a side of steak? Oh, Angelic got a cute little shape. Now we ain't go okay, Angelic. Okay, what? See how you messy? I caught that. Shape I caught that. You think I didn't see that? You're such a messy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to I'm probably gonna <laughs> I caught him. It's not funny. And he think it's funny. Just sitting up there messy.
too much anyway so <laughs> yeah yeah I object oh all right I'll see you tomorrow Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's why I want her to do that. Because she said she wanted to do exactly kind of like uh, what I was doing as far as being in that leadership position. Mm -hmm. It takes a lot of stress off you. Yeah. Dude, I had a lot of fat on this meat. We have to get up to get the flowers and stuff. Yeah, that means that we gotta go to bed early. Mm -hmm. So, how, so we going to go get. Hey, bro. Oh, Dennis, uh, out there, what do you say, Taylor or something like that? Mm -hmm. And then, uh, well, he gave a whole itinerary oh, you know, okay. about it, so I'll let you know. Like, um, we gotta go and see that boogie man. I was like, I haven't even seen the, uh, you know, the trailer. And it's a new boogie man up? I guess so. And then she was like, we gotta go and see that new insidious. She mm -hmm. was like, uh, the memory old like horror movie? I said, yeah. I said, she <laughs> looks like me. She was like, all right, great. That's something we can bond over. <laughs> yeah, she get her nails done, so I like to get my yeah. nails done. She just recently started getting my mom again. So I said, oh man, here we go. <laughs> The Woogie Man movie is back. The new one? That's what she said. Oh, that's what she said? Yeah, I didn't, I didn't even know it came on with a trailer. Next time I'm going to make two rolls. That one was just too small. Yeah, it's, it's slapping. Man, it's real good. Thanks, babe. The water. You done talking with that, uh... That dude. Mm-hmm. And so hell better trying to see me. I'm like, bro, I'm not about to entertain. No man is, is that eager to want to see another man. Mm-hmm. Like, <laughs> I told but I tell y'all women this. Y'all got so much power in the world. I put it in the oven. Okay. Y'all got so much power in the world, y'all don't even know it. Y'all can change. The stigma of a man thinking that being gay is okay. If y'all just stop entertaining them. Right. Y'all stop having them as best friends. 
You know what I mean? Like, if y'all did that, they would look in the mirror and be like, maybe there's something wrong with you. Ethan over here asking me about my son possibly being, if, what if he gay? And I'm like, where are you going with this? That ain't right for a, a grown man to be asking that. I'm like, if my son be gay, he can't be gay in my household. And when he gets grown, he can do whatever he want to do, and I won't be coming. Yeah, that's a, that's a no discussion situation right there. Right. You know, like I said, I look at it like he's just demons on the person, you know. That's exactly what it is. I even hit people. Or some with, childhood trauma. Yeah, I even hit people with this logic. Uh, for people that uh, believe in like reincarnation or regeneration, and they be like, what if I was like a man? Like, what if I was a woman in my past life? I said, all right, well, let me hit you with this. What if you was? And what if it is like you a man now, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what if that woman part of you is with you now? That woman spirit is with you now. Mm -hmm. But since you're not a woman in this life, you you got to understand that that's not what you're supposed to be like in this life. Right. You know, to try to break it down in more lamer terms, you know, that the most high may do a man that can excrete some semen out to make a woman pregnant. Mm -hmm. You can't be a woman. I don't care what you dress like. It's no such thing as a man being able to be a woman. You just something else. You know what I mean? It, that's just a fact. It's a lot of fat on it. See? All that white. It's a lot of fat on it. I'm so sorry, Tommy. What happened last night? Yeah. <laughs> I know she'll be apologetic. Yeah. But she was like, that's why I called you because I knew that you was going to come as fast as you did. You know, she was like, I was going to, you know, my oldest brother, he was like, why didn't you call me first? And she was like, in her head, she's like, because I know you wasn't going to get here fast enough. <laughs> fast enough. <laughs> That's the one I got the kids and, you know, kind of like homework bound like that. Mm-hmm. so sweet, man. All my friends, I'm the youngest out of the boys, and they know that they can hit me up and no matter what time it is. And I'm going to answer that phone. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That's why people used to call me and be like, where your brother at? Like, did you try to call him? And I'm like, no, I just figured that you would know where he at. Like, man, call that person mm -hmm. first. They like, stop calling me, find out where they at. Mm Like a slave at home cooking for the man, but he's not really doing nothing for him. Yep, they do. He's talking about I'm not a, my man every day. I'm not about to be cooking and cleaning. He can do it himself, he can wash his own clothes. Okay, so what's the use of the woman then in the household? All right. If he's doing literally everything, what is the purpose of him having her? She got to find some purpose. Right. Because she's doing it to him. Mm -hmm. He got to cook, clean, do all this of himself. But they live in the same household. That means he's putting a purpose in the household. Because he's cooking, cleaning. Whether he's working on the car, fixing the car, he's going to get gas, you know, working long hours. And he's putting in his purpose. Right. You know what I mean? So what's the purpose of the woman? You know, it's like people, like guys don't want to say that. Like, maybe what's your value? Because if a woman asks me that, I'm going to show you. <laughs> I'm going to show you my value so because I'm not going to ask you, baby, what's your value? I'm going to show you by example. Mm -hmm. This is what I do. And you're going to like, okay, I see it. So mm -hmm. then if I ask, baby, what can you add to my life? Then you're like, well, he ain't the same. Okay, so it's going to be paying them bills. You better be cleaning. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Or even when it comes to the bills, like I want to help out with that too. So everybody in a relationship kind of so they work. If a woman feel like a man is not doing his job or he did the um like I say the job interview. No, nah, he got that. <laughs> if the if the woman noticed the man does a job interview personality to where he's putting on his best performance at the beginning, mm -hmm. and then once he feel like he got the job with the woman, he starts slacking off. It's her job to tell him that. It's her job to put her foot down and let him know. You ain't getting nothing that's inside of these pants. Uh, so I start seeing because as long as she's still giving it to him, he gonna like, shit, I don't care what she say, she's still giving me some hat. Mm -hmm. You know, so women got to understand that. Don't starve the man, but at the same time, you know, you got to let him know how you feel. You know, don't be shy about it. Be respectful. Don't be loud or cussing him out saying mm -hmm. he ain't shit or this, that, and the third. Because right. again, you don't want that, you know, still in his life. So it's good to have that conversation and sit down. You know what I mean? So uh, if you if you feel like, you know, baby, you got to do this. But why don't you take out the trash? If you're like, I don't want I really don't want to. Like, that's why I'm saying. Don't get into no marriages. Don't be having no babies by nobody to where you have an easy escape. If something goes wrong, mm -hmm. you can just leave without having no remorse. No, no tie backs or nothing like that. All right. You feel like that about me, babe? What, that I can just dip on you? <laughs> no, I, I'm already married to you, so I can't just dip on you. And I'll be wrong. I'll be wrong oh, that'll be, you. that's for the Christians. Yeah, that'll be wrong to me. So you, you with me until, as long as I don't do anything unlawful? Yeah, same with me. As long as I don't commit no sin, um, no adultery, nothing like that. You know, and you know, some... Some people look at it like a man can do that stuff. Mm -hmm. And you can't say nothing about it because a man can't have more than one woman. Well, he can only do that if y'all didn't put it in a vow. Exactly. But a lot of, you know, I'm pretty sure. Because so communication is very risky. I'm not going to get involved in this fact that you can feel better. I'm going to want you to read to make my life miserable without you. Because that's my punishment. You know right. what I mean? If I'm that weak of a man to, to fall for the okie doke like that, then I deserve the punishment. If you commit adultery on me, I'm not leaving you. I know I'm stuck with you. You stuck with me? But that don't give me no reason to want to do it. Like I said, I don't, I don't want that many spirits on me anyway, so... With multiple women, that's just multiple spirits that I'm gonna have to deal with. She's just gonna be mad because I'm not going nowhere. You think I'm gonna make it that easy and just leave and give up my spot? Nope. I'm gonna be legally married to you, so she will always she won't she won't get nothing from you but dick. I'm not leaving my house for her. I'm not. I'm gonna just pack up my stuff so she can come. Nope. The only thing she's going to be able to get from you is dick. Really. Because if I just leave you, that means she could just put her stuff in here and take my place. So that's like she won. She ain't winning. You know that ain't going to happen. I don't have to worry about that with my husband because my husband's not going to commit adultery because the most high going to punish him. Oh, be careful wiping it off because them blades are sharp. Okay. Because I'm going to slice my finger one day. I know we just use. I know we just. Uh, I know we just blast it with this. Mm. Yeah, and then just, just cleans it off pretty good, you know, and get all the extra stuff off also. That's how I normally do it because I kind of slice my fingers all the time. But when I was a man, and, you know, I realized my skin ain't as hard as my uh, my thought process at that time. So, yeah. You know how a kid going to mess with something? Don't do that. And I still got That's what I did. I did it anyway. Mm. Yeah, I'm going to have
You said Denny's tomorrow morning. Don't don't say the location though. You got yeah. paparazzi's in the building. Yeah. And Denny's in uh in our state anyway, so Okay. Denny's tomorrow morning. He said something about Transformers. And go kart racing. Ooh, go kart oh. racing. He was like, you know, I don't know how how mm. it's gonna be. <laughs> Everybody yeah, I was look, look when he said that. I was like, everybody see? seen us being chilled see? out, you know. But I'm very competitive when it comes to stuff. But babe, your own brother even said that. I've always been that way because I'm always chilled out. I'm the one that everybody look at as a chilled out guy. I told him I said he didn't go to David Buster's with us. So like, yeah, Prince, I'm gonna um yeah. get the charger real quick. Yeah, Okay, yeah. But he thinking he was thinking that you two like what you said, chill. And I said you give off that yeah, without I even trying. Yeah, but I, I do it just because it's me and also the people around me, they feel chilled out, they feel relaxed, they feel comfortable. And mm -hmm. that's what's important. I don't like people being around me and feeling like you know, it's, you know, I ain't nobody special like that in that, that series. But you are, babe. You are. I keep telling you that. You I are that special. I know. You don't want no light on. I can see. <laughs> I like the lights off. Trust me, I know. I'm so used to like my parent, like my grandparents. Turn off the light, turn off the light. The, the one time I was around my granddad, he known for we got the light off. Boy, you better turn that light on and slap us up in the back of our head if we trying to look at something. Like we trying to read a book or something like that. Yeah. I don't know, like calling him granddad because he wasn't even uh, uh, dad to my dad. So, uh, you already, yeah. I think I told you about that mm -hmm. story. Is he still alive? No, no. Uh -huh. I didn't tell you about it. Yeah. He, uh, he definitely wasn't the best. Uh, yeah, I, I know you were talking dad. about that. Yeah, the one dollar man. Yeah. That's, that's what we call it, the one dollar man. That sucks. <laughs> That's why it's so important to not blame your past and your actions today. You know, a lot of people do that. I can't help you, but this is how I was raised. Like, nah, you're grown now. There's no reason for that. Yeah. 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 Maybe we can shoot some arrows and play the game. Unless your brother's okay. Make your brother feel okay. I don't know how to hit him up. Oh, okay. Well, that's how we get to do it, Can I please have a cigarette, please? Just one lucky thing. Nobody. Just one more Lucy. One name, one tonight. That's literally. It. How late is tonight? What time? When you say tonight, what you talk? What time you talk about? Like when I eat dinner. After dinner. You talking about after the sundown? Yeah. Wait. 
After the sundown. You can't just wait another three hours. Babe, please. If I break now, what does that say about me? It means that, that, that I can't keep my word because you were lured. No, it doesn't mean that. Like, even though you're trying to look at me like that and get all, you know, I'm, you know, I'm stronger than Babe, that. it's not like that, though. Mm hmm it's not like please it's just it's one only, more it's only three hours okay babe but it's only just one more uh, you know that ain't gonna work on me okay but please you know that's not gonna work on me more. please please just one more just one just one after sundown no please <laughs> babe you gotta let me get one more it's just i swear okay how about this can we make a dough if I smoke one right now. So when you say one more, you really mean two, right? No, I do one. Said, I do one. I know I know what I said, but I do one. I would, usually I would just like two. Back to one, mm -hmm. back to it. But if you let me smoke one right now, mm -hmm. because we're gonna be hanging with family mm -hmm. tomorrow, I will smoke none. I will leave a pack here. Because I don't want them like What if I hide your pack? That's fine. After this after this one, you can hide my pack. I'll just take one out, go smoke it, and you can hide my. Right. Think about trying to do at least two a day, because what you used to do, what you say, a cart and a half. Mm -hmm. So anything less that you do is an improvement. Right, I'm doing an improvement. So I can smoke one now, and I'm gonna give you a pack, and you can do whatever you want to do with it. And then tomorrow I can't smoke none because we're gonna live with family, and I want to be six stepping up smoking and nasty. Yeah. So is that a go? Now, if I say yes, I'm getting, I'm are you going to come back to me later no, on tonight I would, I would after ask, sundown and say, hey, no, no. can I have? No, I, I'm going to, you can have it, the, the pack until um tomorrow, after tomorrow. I get my two after that. Okay. As long as you keep your word. Okay. Now, don't get so heavy. You better I'm tell you better keep your word. Mm -hmm. I, okay. Like I said, you asked for my help, so I'm gonna help you. And so far you've been uh you cut down a whole lot. I did. You cut down a whole lot. I'm about to find out if he's still trying to come over. You heard me? I'm about to find out uh, if he's still trying to come over. Da -da -da. <sighs> Guys, it's gonna taste so good and delightful. You like this? Ooh, the big guy. Yeah, that looked like a perfect size. But you don't like to swim, do you? It looks like good out water, here. But, you know, like you know I definitely get one because I know that everybody would like one. Keep him. Where are he gonna go, girl? I'm his rib. <laughs> I just want you to know that everything I say ain't fake. You know, it's real. That's how. This how I am. That's how he. This how he really is, y'all. Hey, Thank you.
I got lucky, right, you guys? <laughs> I got lucky. Yeah, I'm gonna smoke it slow, y'all. Smoke it slow. Because it was a smoke it slow. <laughs> He really is. He really is. And so that's why I can't wait to my family, you know, don't think of this as another situation from the past. And, you know, I'm going to let them slowly but surely see what you guys are able to see and hear how much he care. Like, who am I? I I'm, I'm, well, first of all, let me say this. I have lots of values about myself. But my values doesn't outweigh his kinsmanship. It doesn't outweigh his, he's an honorable, honorable man. And those are really, really rare, rare in these times. So, like, I, I feel like it's a reward to have him. It really is. So, yeah. And that's why I was stuck on that big toe. <laughs> I was suck it. He don't even like stuff like that. But I'm just saying I would. <laughs> you guys haven't seen his toes. That's why you're saying that. Are you coming out that smoke, my cigarette? Let me enjoy my Lucy. My last Lucy for the next 24 hours, girl. He is a blessing. I am so happy, you guys. Don't I look good? I look good. Like, you should be happy. I'm not going to mess it up. I promise I'm not. He got a mean side. I never seen him angry though. Like whatever we go through, we able to talk about it. My husband, he's a Hebrew Israelite. He's the same girl. These men do not play about this smoking. I'm really gonna stop smoking anyway, for real. I'm down to two Lucy's. I'm down to two cigarettes a day, girl. What I'm gonna do. <laughs> I might as well quit. He's going to help me quit, so. He's definitely going to help me quit, for sure. Yeah, I got some gum. I got some gum. It's definitely a beautiful neighborhood. You don't hear the birds chirping? <laughs> I put all my eggs in this basket, baby. I'm putting, I'm going for, for, I'm putting everything in. I don't have no more lifelines. For real. It's so quiet, girl. It's so quiet. His house will be so quiet. I'll be feeling out of place sometimes. I'm like, it's so quiet. You don't hear no loud music. You don't hear no police cars running up down the street. You don't hear no helicopters. You don't hear no dogs barking. You got pit bulls loose chasing you. You got to carry big sticks down the street. The lawn care is good. You ain't got to worry about walking past no abandoned house, girl. Birds chirping. <laughs> I meet the family tomorrow. I'm so nervous. <laughs> I'm gonna go get the mama like a, a um a plant, a nice full plant, and I'm gonna get the sister some roses. Isn't that cute, you guys? See, I got some classy. I'm classy. <laughs> Thank you.
Thank you. Yeah, because because flowers die, so that's why I'm gonna get her a plant instead of just some roses. Oh, you in the wine. Look at her. So it's in that wine you drunk up. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna get her wine too. I'm gonna be like, I bought you another bottle of wine because I drunk up your other one. It was so delicious and I felt bad, so I brought you another one. <laughs> By the way, good taste. Good taste in wine. <laughs> They're good. They're good. I'm gonna be my like I'm really like this in real life, you guys. I've been with this man every day and I haven't switched up. A person can't fake that long, girl. The dog is going with um one of the parents. Your ex fake for 12 years. <laughs> Not fake for 12 years. Yeah, we're going towards the third week. Since June 3rd. The day you got married, he switched. Ooh. I did make the beef stew. And yeah, we're married already. The honeymoon stage is over, girl. We didn't gotten to our first little discussion, heated discussion and everything. I'm not cooking tonight. It's leftovers. It's a Sabbath. Yeah, see, already. See that? Already. Mm. Now the Lucy is gone. So long, cigarette. I'll see you in 24 hours. Ouch. It's by my finger. Well, I'm, I'm not going to diminish my duties as far as like, oh, I see some paper on the floor, that means I can't get it up on the Sabbath. So. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's so sweet. Because I didn't want the dishes to get, have, um, be stuck, you know. Put the stuff on it. But I'm about to get off alive, you guys. I've been on here for a while. I want to spend some time with my daddy. I'll be back on later. Probably going to go shoot some arrows. Play the game or something. <laughs>